I am so ready to try this for the absolute first time. Yep. At the end of the Goblins 3 LP, we were speculating on which games from the past would be the biggest influence on Goblins 4, the game that came out about a decade after the first trilogy. And you supposed that it was going to be mostly based on Goblins 2. Right. Do you stand by that? I have to go with my first choice. I have to go with my gut on this one. Come on. All right, then. Come on, gut. Let's get it going. Uh. All right, all right. What is that? <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's Goblins 4. Is is it all 3D? Yep. Oh my gosh, this is like when you zoom in too far in black and white. All right. Okay. I just really 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 want the bearded one to never open his mouth again. That's all I want. And then I'll be happy. Oh, there's a ton of really disturbing and weird stuff that happens in this game. In 3D? <laughs> in 3D. So, we have a game that is mainly based, as far as I can tell, on the original Goblins. I was only but one off. Some of the... Some of the life conveniences that came in from later games, such as the ability to control multiple characters at once, and a multi-item inventory. You know, you really gotta appreciate a game that is so confident that they have the main character looking bored as sin on your menu screen. And in the lower right corner. And give me just a moment here because I need to make sure that I've got the right sound devices set up because I'm not hearing anything, are you? I'm not. I'm just soaking all this in visually. All right. I don't think there's a whole lot to hear at the moment. Box. Oh. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of something there. Little screen. Okay. There's audio, it's just very quiet. Let me do some of the tech stuff that we normally save and do before the video. Oh man. Oh, I need to be taking notes. <laughs> So we got a little tutorial area here, which we can poke around with, or we can just jump right into the game. Are there any uh, secrets to be found on this one? I don't know if there are any secrets as such. I mean, there's stuff to do, but I don't think anything you do here actually affects the game. I'm attempting to do quick caricatures of these guys so that I don't forget their names. It's very simple. The first game had there we go. Bobo, Hooter, and Dwayne. This game's got Stucco, Perlui, and Choop. 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 Is that the one this with the mock Viking helmet? Is he Choop? No, he's Stucco. Oh. This is Choop. Because I honestly can't think of any other way to pronounce that name. <laughs> oh my goodness. That... Okay, so whatever you highlight is showing up in the lower lower left. I was just mimicking yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, this game does have the uh, highlights. So if you're hovering over something you can do something with, it'll tell you. 
excellent. I cannot wait to ask you to go over every individual pixel on the screen. Or voxel. Whatever is well, more appropriate that's, here. that's the problem. Oh. You know, I, I was... I've been saying all along that I wasn't sure whether this game was going to work in this kind of format. And part of it was, obviously, lots and lots of technical issues just getting this to stream. But more so than that, it would be very generous to call some of the things in this game pixel hunts, because that implies that there are pixels visible of the things you've got to interact with. Oh boy. This... That will not always be the case. This bodes well. But, we might as well launch into it and see how it goes. I did recently replay the first four rooms of the game, just <laughs> to make sure that I remember what's going on. Turns know, what... out I don't! Alright! That's, that's a good sign. That is a very good sign, when we are both going to be equally lost for at least a little bit. Yeah, and that's the fun of it. We get to stumble yeah. through it together. You know, the first three games I played hundreds of times when I was a kid. This game I played a total of twice. Excellent. You mean you didn't see this and wanted to keep coming back? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think... I'm not sure whether I would say we've hit the low point of the series, but it is certainly a descending curve from the previous games. So, what do we want to call our profile? Well... Gotcha. Here we... It, does, is there enough room for here we go? Otherwise I'm stuck with well. <laughs> yeah. That kind of sums it up. Just sawing a carrot. Yeah, so there are a couple of interesting things that this game does. One of which is that we don't start with a full crew. Oh my goodness. There's just a whole lot happening in this room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Goblins 1 was really sparse, and there were some screens that you had to return to multiple times to do different things. This game has absolutely none of that whatsoever. <laughs> so is it really just one screen at a time in this game? It's one screen at a time. We're, we're pretty much back to the first game, even down to having passwords. This game does generously attempt to save your progress and your profile, but I have found it to completely eradicate the profiles from time to time. Oh, that's, so that's helpful. You have to use the password. I've got all the passwords written down, but when I replayed it again and put a different name in the profile, it gave me different passwords. So I don't know whether it has to be the same name to use the same password, or whether there are multiple passwords that will put you at each level, or whether it has to do with the number of teeth you've collected. <laughs> I don't know if you're serious or not. That's Goblins 4. Okay! I can't wait to see more of this hellscape. Um, can we actually look at any of those pictures, by the way? Uh, which ones? The one, any, any of any of those on the wall. Alright, well we got a picture of the goblins. Oh, hey! Look at that strut. <laughs> Per Lewis. Uh, per Louis, I believe. It's French. That's Per Lewis. You just get one Per Lewis in the room. <laughs> uh, looks like you have a... Several... It's a weird choice there. Do you have to actually click past that before you can see what you can select? Uh, I don't think so. There we go. License. What did you get a license in? A detective license signed okay. by King Balder Own. All right. Or Balder One. We're no longer dealing with King Angolafra. I suppose we moved to a different kingdom here, or they've changed kings. Yeah, I mean, 
At first, I thought those names were the original names of the characters in French, but they're not. Just brand new? I mean, we, we Seems don't, to be. We don't know what the turnover rate is. So I figure carrots are going to come back, since that's the second time we've seen carrot- or er, had a carrot mentioned. Well, the first time was just in a dream. Yeah. Alright, I have to know, wh what is that in the lower left? The picture. That one? Yeah. That's not a picture. It... At least it's not something we can look at to get more information about. Alright, it, it looks like a mix between goblins and Goofy movie. Uh... That could be their version of Scooby-Doo. It could be! It could be. Uh... Alright, then there's just the one left on the right, right? The the one left right on it. Yeah, no. you can't look at the one up on the wall, and you can't look at the one on the bookshelf. Okay. I was just so curious about that. That, one, that one's obviously Trogdor. I, the beefy arm's on the other side, though. Well, it's like a proto-Trogdor. Yeah. The S is for acceptable. It works. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's talk to this crow, raven, bird. Oh, bird. Bird is the word. Could have just handed it over. Jeez. Alright, let's uh, pick that up. If you can get past the bubblegum. <laughs> that's his thing, is picking stuff up. They gotta make you use your skill all the time. <laughs> I prefer to think that there, no one just has any respect for him. That usually makes a good uh, protagonist in these type of games. Probably. I mean, he's a main character who's a detective. So even though everybody has the greatest respect for his skills, nobody's ever going to make things easy. Of course not. What? What is happening? This game is full of some of the most annoying idle animations. What? Why? Why it's did like they? The, it's the Cromarty High School of adventure games. Just screaming! Just screaming! We're just. I just had a moment there where I thought maybe I was seeing things, and then I heard the screeching in my ear. Just, I, we need to leave this room. We need to leave this yeah. room. It's the game's subtle way of encouraging you to solve the puzzles faster by making every screen as annoying as possible. And you keep thinking, well, maybe the next screen won't be as annoying as this one, but it always is. Oh my gosh, we, we have to click on something. If we don't click on something, the bird might start screaming again. Oh, uh, he'll sing even if you're clicking on stuff. No! What if we click on the bird again? Keep him busy. Okay. How do we access our... Is our inventory just our board icon on the lower right? No, ah. it's right click. We've got the summons from the king. <laughs> Give it back to him. I don't want it. Oh. It's kind of nice how they're mimicking the animations from the original games. Yeah, I mean, this this game feels a lot like the first game if the first game didn't suck so much. Unfortunately, this game kind of sucks in a whole bunch of other ways, but well, I'll have to leave that to your judgment because we've seen very little of it so far. We have been in this for less than 15 minutes and I've been screamed at. Can we click on our... No! 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 I hate it, thanks. Uh, can we talk to the Venus flytrap? Snake. Aww. Whoa. Alright, so everything wants a snack. Seems to be what we're coming down to. Yeah, well, you know, Audrey, too, is just trying to eat you over there. Nah. Uh, well... What on our desk can we even pick up? 
I know we had a coffee pot on the ground. We got a pencil. There's, okay. There's a pencil. I don't think we can do anything with a coffee pot. But we could use the pencil. Yeah. No. And how about that yellow thing on the left over by Scooby Doo? It's a oh tooth. no. The so gold teeth are the collectible in this game. You want to try to find one in every room so that you can access the bonus level. So it is possible to miss teeth. Yeah. It is entirely possible to miss teeth. Oh man, okay. See if we can do a 100% run. I am I will try <laughs> to get all the teeth. I will try to put all of the teeth in my pocket for an unknown use at a later time. Um... I wish that was the first time I've ever said that. Is there anything else on that bench we can pick up? Nope, none of those things what? are pick upable. What am I tipping this bird with and shoving into this plant? Um, or the other way around. It's gonna be the other way around if he keeps doing that. Uh, how about the table in front of the goblin's portrait? Nobody is clapping. Nope. Nothing uh, to put up there. And over on the right beneath the ocean portrait? There's a jar. There is a jar. Looks like pickles. Boy, he just shoved his fingers right into that polygon. Well, I mean, technically, all graphics are made of pickles. Nah. Or is this one voxels? It's one of those. Let's see here. I believe they're gherkins. Yeah, you're a gherkin, my chain. Mmm. That was bad. I regret that one a little bit. Uh, so, all we have in our inventory right now is that summons and a tooth. And the tooth, which is completely useless until we need to go to the bonus level. I really hope the teeth don't stack so that our inventory just gets more and more obscene. Um. Wow, you found a way this game could possibly have been worse. There we go, see? <laughs> Is that package behind the Venus flytrap? The plant? No? Well, not one you can do anything with. Beneath it? Cat looks like a plum? No? Nope. And on the left. There's a little thingy. Current well, cases. A box with current cases. But nothing in the bookshelf. Gotcha. Let's give that to let's give that to the bird. That's a tip. Yeah, fishbone. <laughs> Fishbones plus bird equals question mark. I am looking forward to seeing more varieties. Up. Oh. That's the way the game says use thing on thing. But yes, we gave the fishbone to the bird. Why won't it leave? And he ate it. Will it leave now? Can we ask it to leave? Bird? No! No! Where's the no option? There is no no. Oh, well, alright. I, I don't know if we actually have anything else to do in here, do we? Can we just leave? Oh. Okay, um... Uh, is there... <laughs> can we look at the picture of his friends? Maybe... There's no map that I can see. I need to find them to come with me to see the king. Uh... Mm -hmm. What is that to the left of the bookshelf on the left? Kind of looks like a box with something on the cover. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Okay. No, nothing. Uh, can we write... Oh! Let's try to write... Maybe we can uh, write a letter to them using the pencil. Yeah. Give it to the bird. No, you could write a letter and then have the bird deliver it. Dang it. And follow the bird? Well, then the bird can tell them to meet you somewhere. I don't know. 
logic video games. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's very Harry Potter. <laughs> Wait, can we actually click on the armchair? It looked like we could. Oh yeah. Just makes him take a sit. The. <laughs> oh man, my the video froze, and it was just this horrifying visage. If I'm staring at the screen. Now, I'm not sure that that was necessarily frozen. That was potentially just the way the game looks. It was it? There was just a lot of teeth. There was just a whole lot of teeth. Oh man. We should have done this before That's Halloween. Goblins 4. Goblins 4. A whole 4. lot of teeth. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. I didn't even think of the golden tooth again. Oh my god. You'll Why become is obsessed with these teeth in later levels. You'll be like, okay, I know everything I need to do to beat the level, but where the hell is that tooth? Oh man, this is. This and it is... turns out to be under a loose floorboard or something. I really hope that's actually a solution. Um. Have I actually made anything up so far? That's a good question. I want to say yes, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Oh, everything in here talks. Okay, what haven't I clicked? What haven't we? What haven't we clicked on yet? Um. And in in our inventory, we just have the wait. That thing and can we give the invitation the summons to the plant? Here you go, plant. The king wants to see you. <laughs> Is there anything else in the box? Nope. nope, the box no longer exists. But we couldn't open the jar. Nope. Can we oh, can we get into the the uh, chest of drawers on the left? Or is that another thing we can't select? And yeah, what? Select the chest of drawers. How about the vase in the lower left? Yes. Something. No. Come on. You're killing me. Shoop. I think that think that's how I say it. I'm gonna write Shoe. That's his new name. Kill me, Shoe. Uh. How about what? Well, can we select that little statue thing on the right? Little question. What about? No. I feel like what have we missed in this room that we can put into other things? There has to be something else we can put into another thing because it's the first level and I'm getting stuck. Uh, how about the window? I don't want to talk to that bird. Okay. Uh, and how about the... the wire thing next to the window? This 3D nope. is gonna mess with me. Alright, can we talk to that bird again? Bird. Bird, help me. <laughs> Yes, you can, but you won't. Yeah, we don't know what to ask him for. No, we don't. Did we try to select that purple notebook that was on his desk? Okay. And what if, is that a map to the left of the old man on the left wall? Like between the two, next to his cousin... Ah, here? yeah, it looks like a map, doesn't it? Uh, no, it looks like a knight riding a horse. Oh. Yeah, I kind of see it. It's a little blurry. Just a little blurry. Oh, no, this is a good nope. start. I would have put the game into a larger resolution if it were possible to do so. Yeah. But no, this is... The game only runs at 1024 by 768. This is a good time. Well, you get a wide range of frame rates. That's that's true. I just really hope that the next time it drops, it's not while he's staring at the screen. I was really hoping to sleep tonight. No, you you got a, an option of six different resolutions that are all <laughs> 1024 by 768. Ooh. Hey, is that a magnifying glass on top of the chest of drawers? Yeah, there's a magnifying glass on top of the chest of drawers. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm just I'm gonna lean forward all of the way. 
That's that's what this game's gonna end up being. Here we go. Let me just press my eyeballs up real nice and close. Um, what in the world are we doing with the magnifying glass, though? Well, nothing at the moment. We're just staring at the space where it used to be. <laughs> Longingly. Well, Lovingly. Hmm. Can you use a magnifying glass on the picture of the goblins? Maybe get a clue there? We are a detective. No? No. Darn. And... Yeah, the picture was taken a long time ago. It's not really going to tell you where they are now. That's, that's fair. Tells us where they were then, though. In front of a camera. Yeah, so we just need to go back in time. <laughs> we figured out this plot. Actually, that's not all that far off. Oh, is it? We need to gather the teeth to power the time machine. No, we need to gather the teeth to power the space machine. You might be telling the truth. You might be telling the truth. I... I... Okay. Can we... Let's just adventure game this. Can we use the, mag the magnifying glass on the bird? Maybe we'll... No, we don't need to see him any closer. True. Um, I can't... Can we use it on the pickle jar? I just want a pickle. Hmm. Is that a... Golly. How about the vase? Maybe we can look into the vase. Unveil your secrets, vase. <laughs> hmm. Uh -huh, you could use it on the plant? Open wide and say, ah, let me check out your phyla. <laughs> hmm. Well, I am... What? Ha we need something else. There is no way. I'm definitely missing something here. Uh, I'm definitely missing something. What haven't we tried? Can we go out the window? Can we shove the bird out the window? No. Uh, no. If we click on him, he'll just ask if he can be of further assistance. <sighs> what about the table behind him? Down there. Nothing yeah. down there. Uh, and the red mess above it? Those are roses yes. growing outside. Alright, click on that red mess. Get us some fresh red mess. You got a rose. What is that to the left of the chair on the ground, by the way? Is that just papers? Oh, uh, to the left of the bird, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's nothing down there either. You gotta get like, some plaster feet. I, I think they're supposed to be shoes. Cause he had a lot of starch on his socks in that little little drawing. Um, Could be. I mean, he's wearing shoes. Were, were those shoes in the cutscene? I mean, the, the shoes on his feet. Ch sure. Um, let's put the rose in the vase. I'm sure that has to be it. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this before we're leaving. Oh. <laughs> I like I was instantaneously bored. Every time. Uh, let's use a magnifying it's glass. His, yeah. It's just his resting face. <laughs> his resting boredom face. Oh. It's Kisu the Flea. Kisu. Draw a little picture of him. Kisu. Kisu and Chu. Um, cool. We have a flea now. Can we pick him up? <laughs> no? Nope. Uh, can we interact with him again? I think we gotta use the magnifying glass every time. Ah. Uh. 
Hey, there's oh. a clue. All right. There we go. Can we use it again on him and see if he knows where the where per 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 yeah per Lewis is? <laughs> per Lewis. Okay. Nah. You just know where Stecco is. There were several different ways I thought we'd figured out where they were, and this is absolutely not one of them. I mean, it's adventure game logic. You want to find someone, put a flower in a vase. Just bring some bugs into your house. Somebody's going to tell you something. <laughs> bring some fleas into your home and question every single one of them. <laughs> um, can we leave? I don't know why we're bringing more things into our home to yell at us. Oh. Oh. We've got to feed the plant. Oh my gosh. So we do have to open the, the jar. Somehow. Presumably so. Alright, alright, alright. Um, so we have to find something to open the jar with. We've already tried the magnifying glass. What else is yeah, there? It turns out you can't stare a hole into a jar. <laughs> You know, we didn't actually try very long. Hmm. I wish we could just pick up. Uh. Can we grab that weird statue on the table? I think we've already tried that. Yeah. Nope. Uh, how about the other acorn looking thing on the shelf to the left? And that spatula? It's spoon. a spoon! That spoon you appears found to be the anything. spoon! <laughs> the spoon appears to be the appropriate size. Let's use it on the pickle jar. That's fine. That's how that works. Yep. <laughs> you just sprayed pickles all over the room. It's fine. It's fine. I just like how angry he looked for a brief moment. He will bird ate one of his gherkins. <laughs> he threw them all over the floor. Yeah, but he ate the one that was on the chair. The ones on the floor he didn't touch. Well, let's get some floor gherkins. L little dirt didn't hurt, hurt a pickle. I told you gherkins were going to play a big part in this game. <laughs> Is that the other collectible? No. We're, we're not getting teeth and gherkins? Nope. We're collecting teeth and we just happen to have a whole lot of gherkins. I like that we're feeding the plant something that looks like it. It's a vegetarian plant. Huh. Just give it all three. Mm-hmm. Huh. See, this is why I went to the store one day and bought a jar of huh. gherkins. Just so I could see what they tasted like. Wait, is there a difference between a gherkin and just no and a dill pickle? Yeah. Big what's, the difference. Di what's the difference? Um, I'm not really sure how to describe flavors and words as such, but I think the gherkin is a lot more sour. Alright, I gotta go get a gherkin. I'm gonna go get a jar of gherkins. So wait, please tell me the puzzle isn't that we needed the fourth one and we have to get it out of the bird. No, I could try to leave. Please don't make me take the gherkin out of the bird. No! No, oh. you go outside- No! Nope. Plant hasn't been fed. Oh my god! Oh, Don't look at me. Man, this is, it reminds me a little bit of The Sims. 
Rock bite my own one. Alright, let's talk to the bird. Do, do you mind spitting up that, that gherkin? Yeah, just, just spit it up. Nah, I think that gherkin has been well and truly eaten. Mm, I sure hope so. Uh, let's see. Wait, he's a vegetarian, and the only mm -hmm. other vegetable that's been mentioned in the room was the carrots, right? Right. Can we look at the picture of the carrot farmer one more time? Is there maybe a carrot hidden behind it, or I can pull it out of it? I don't know what to expect of this game anymore. Okay, that's that actually makes sense. Thank you. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Can we instant instant deliver us a carrot, please? As opposed to just give this bird some money and ask him to bring back some food. Or go to the store and buy some food. Assuming well, there are I mean, stories. We can't leave the room to get food to feed the plant until we've fed the plant. Right. <laughs> no, just stare longingly out the window. Reminds me of one of my favorite lines from one of my favorite National Lampoon spoofs. Detail. I don't remember the line well enough to quote it here. Okay, well, that bird is a jerk and just dropped another thing on the floor. Yep. It's a carrot with an address label on it. That's pretty cute, actually. <laughs> There you go. That's impressive. <laughs> Don't look at me. Aww. I can get gone now. Yep. Oh, Let's get gone. Please. How much gone can we get? Because I want all of that. Goodbye, Hell House. <laughs> 